Yeah, it must talk. There's one right behind him actually. I might, uh, mine might have been the bubbles from him actually. Yeah, you'll get a fillet off him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. I've got a strike on me soft plastic and it's not even moving. Yeah. What's that? We're on here. That's called dead sticking when you leave it sitting there and not moving it when a fish hits it like that. Got him. Got one? Yeah, on the soft plastic. plastic. Yeah. Well, that's a start. <laughs> Mick wants a photo of this. So these are a prototype, these soft plastics. They're not actually on the market yet. Got him. Another one? Yeah. A little red fin. Is there any with him? No, he's on his own. Yeah, on the strike tiger bug. You know that fishing we had up here in autumn last year? Yeah. They've been having that like all summer. Oh, come on here. Got him. This one might be a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're loving this soft plastic. And it's not really a little bit bigger. I think it was just an illusion. He's actually about half the size. The little strike tiger bug. Oh, whoops. I was, no. It's like a nymph. It's like a strike tiger nymph, but it's got bigger paddles for its claws. Just to create a bit more vibration in the water. Got him. Ah, lost him. You come back, you watch. He's tapping it. Got him. Ah, no, he's small. I've got him, but he's absolutely tiny. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you got something touching me yabby again. <laughs> Trying to fish a soft plastic rod and a yabby rod at the same time, it's proven to be difficult. I've got the mortise touch. Yeah, this is a bigger than this yabby is bigger than the last one, but it's still not very big. Isn't that funny? As soon as you pick the rod up, it stops biting. So you put the rod back down, grab the soft plastic rod, and you watch it'll take like about three seconds, and you'll come back. He told you, eh? straight away. Yeah, I've got one soft plastic. The Yabby's is getting a nibble and I've got a fish on a soft plastic at the same time. <laughs> I can barely feel these fish hitting that out there. I don't know whether it's got a bigger lure or a bigger soft plastic. Yeah. Yeah, got him. One of these redfin, you reckon? Fell off. Really. But he was using nylon too. Yep. There you go, got him. So this one might have a bit more weight in it. It's harder to say sometimes you've got a lot of, Yeah, this one's got a bit this one going in the esky, I think. This is an esky fish. <laughs> I think so. Well maybe not. Yeah, he's an esky fish. <laughs> I know my yabby rod's getting a bite again. It's all right, then. It's 
listen to the wind behind us in the trees. So, here we go. These bastards haven't got me yabby again. Got to get him this time, surely. Got him. <laughs> There's only so many yabbies you can steal, you little bugger. <laughs> well, that one, he took the yabbies. Fat little redfin, isn't it? Do you want him or not? You actually don't get too bad a fillet off a fish that size. It's not a waste of time. Actually, I think I'm working that week. You know, I got him. Oh, yeah, he's putting a bit of bend in the rod. Not now, he's not here. Funny when they're out for. Oh, and he's got a bit of weight in this fish. Sometimes it just pull harder, I think. Yeah. Got him. Little one. Okay. <laughs> Got him. We just have probably still that many in here. This is a small one, this one. Got him. Yeah, two casts in a row. So not in that last fish didn't really make a great deal of difference, did it? <laughs> they're, loving, they're loving this little strike like a bug. I'm impressed with it. Do you want him in the esky? No, right, eh? Might be. Rightio. I want a red fin hat trick. Something's sitting me yabby now. <laughs> Got him. I don't know whether that. I don't know whether that's part of the hat trick or not. You're going nasty, aren't you? He's not a big fish, but you can fill at him. If he was <laughs> there by himself, would have gone home. Got him right under the boat. Oh, I've like done him. There he is. Look at them all. Look at them all. There's about 20 of them there. Look. Look at them. Quick, I'll leave him in there. Put yourself plastic beside him. Oh, they've all gone. You got one. <laughs> Uh, a secluded bay here at Lake Buffalo so it doesn't look as windy as it is but it is blowing an absolute gale here today and over there over the Black Range area is a massive big plume of smoke 35 degrees I just said to dad before on a day like today the last thing we would want to see would be smoke in the air 35 degrees howling northerly wind and now I've got a plume of smoke and that little cloud that you can see there forming above the smoke, that's called a pyrocumulus.